Hey guys, uh, today this video is actually just going to be all on my torch. A lot of people have asked me uh, in real life, not very many people on YouTube, but a lot of people have asked me why I don't use this torch on my videos. Well, the reason is this, this trigger is very old, probably 15 years old. Uh, it's a Burnzomatic TS2000. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it is probably 15 years old. It's probably younger than that. But, yeah, this trigger, um, it works. But the trigger doesn't ignite the gas. So, we're going to go get a new torch trigger. Uh, hopefully the TS4000 because it has a uh, start-stop trigger. So, you... Pull the trigger, it starts, to, it starts, yeah. then if you release it, it stops it. That's the kind of tor torch I want. So, yeah. So I just put the trigger on the tank. This is what I have to do every time I ignite it. I have to turn the dial. I can't ignite it. See? But I always have to ignite it manually. Too much power. Just like that. There's little labels. From all the 4th of July stuff. Yeah, and I don't like that it's continuous run. There's no start-stop trigger. So, yeah, we're going to go to Home Depot, buy that new trigger, and then we'll test it out and see what it does. And then I'll probably end up using it a lot more. I'll probably end up getting a new tank too because this tank is probably almost empty. I've always wondered if this is a refill. I don't think you can actually refill these things. I'll have to look that up. But yeah. New torch, maybe new tank, but yeah. Let's go to Home Depot. See if they got that TS-4000. Before we actually go get that uh, torch, I wanted to show you guys this. This is a uh, 25 shot rack. That's a work in progress. So far I only have five tubes, I need 20 more. Uh, this is an old milk crate we found laying around in the shed. But you can actually buy these on Amazon. You can, I think Walmart sells them too. But yeah, a little storage or milk crate, I guess. I reinforced it by putting pegboard on the side. That also helps the tubes uh, not have so much space in between because otherwise they'll go crazy all around the place. I put some plywood on the bottom to keep it, keep the tubes from breaking through the plastic at the bottom. But yeah, this is an old milk crate. So yeah, all I need is 20 more tubes and then we'll be good to go. My plan is to actually use HDPE tubes though, because fiberglass, I don't really like fiberglass tubes because they splinter a lot and it hurts. So yeah. But anyways, let's go get that torch. Well, we found it. TS4000. Pretty nice. See, we got a lock. It's even got a safety lock, so you can't push in it. And uh, apparently, these Burns-O-Matic torches work with propane too. That's a really old propane bottle, way older than me. This that torch is also way older than me. Probably about maybe a year older than me. This is probably the best torch I've ever had. I'm probably gonna start using this a lot more now. This is also older than me, but yeah. Actually, no, this isn't. 
but that is. This is fairly new, actually. But yeah. Pretty nice. I like it. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.